welcome to another episode of the Hormone Balance Solution Podcast. We're going to do a real quick one, just a little snippet today. We're going to talk about estrogen kickback because there's so many questions about estrogen kickback. And if you don't know what estrogen kickback is, but you are starting maybe on your HRT journey or you're considering HRT, then definitely listen to this episode because it's really important because this can be actually quite common. Estrogen kickback occurs when you start on progesterone and you get these symptoms popping up that could more so be attributed to excess estrogen in the body. And this occurs because you're stimulating your estrogen receptors. So these hormones in our bodies, they work with each other, right? And this is why getting the balance between these hormones right is so, so important. So progesterone and estrogen, they have to be balanced with one another, otherwise symptoms will occur. Uh, progesterone and thyroid hormone. You're never going to get your thyroid right unless you get your progesterone right because the progesterone supports thyroid so much. Uh, we need to get the balance between estrogen and testosterone right too. So balancing these hormones together is really, really important because they actually play off one another. And so with estrogen kickback, it occurs when you bring that progesterone on and you start to get these symptoms, which you, which they can be quite alarming because this progesterone has woken up and stimulated these estrogen receptors in the body, which is a wonderful thing that progesterone does this. But it, like I said, it can be a little bit alarming at first. Now, this actually happened to me. So back in the day when I started on progesterone, I started to feel what I came to realize were cysts in my breasts. So I don't have many, but I didn't know that I had them. And so I started on progesterone and my breasts got tender to start. And one of them in particular, I could sort of feel the cysts in it. And I didn't know though what was going on. And so like most women, I thought, oh, that's not a good thing. And I stopped the progesterone. Uh, uh, you know, fast forward and I got a breast ultrasound. I realized I did have a couple of cysts in there. And so what I came to realize though, was that it wasn't a bad thing. And so I got back on that progesterone and been on that for quite some time. And sure enough, all those symptoms dissipated very, very, very quickly because I came to realize that the answer was not getting off the progesterone. The answer was sticking on the progesterone and that these estrogen kickback symptoms, usually they dissipate very quickly. Um, sometimes, however, the answer is very counterintuitive. So first of all, we don't get off the progesterone, which is a little counterintuitive. Uh, we want to stick it out, especially if we have low progesterone symptoms and it is time for us to be on that progesterone. You know, you're going to do your due diligence and make sure you should be on the progesterone first. And if all that checks out and you go on the progesterone and maybe you do see some benefit, maybe you're more calm, you sleep better, but maybe you have some symptoms like maybe you get some headaches or maybe you get the breast tenderness or whatever the case may be. So the answer isn't to stop the progesterone, especially if you've had that relief. The answer is to continue on and these will dissipate or sometimes the answer can actually be to increase your dose, which can be very counterintuitive for women. But when you increase your dose of progesterone, you're really able to overcome that estrogen kickback and get the dose that your body needs in order to feel better. So I don't know what's going on for you. Obviously, I'm not telling you to increase your dose, but I'm telling you to have a conversation with your provider um, about these potential reasons for why you might be reacting to progesterone and progesterone is the most reactive hormone and you know a lot of ladies will react to progesterone you could call it progesterone sensitivity you can call it progesterone uh, intolerance and you know estrogen kickback could be playing a role in that it could be a few other things as well which i'm not going to get into in this episode because this is just supposed to be short and sweet so if you're struggling with symptoms once you start on the progesterone and they seem like they might be estrogen kickback symptoms don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You probably have to continue. You may actually have to increase your dose. 
I go into more detail in my course, HRT Made Simple. So if you do want to grab that course, information is going to be in the show notes and you can go ahead and grab the course. But I hope that this has inspired you to maybe dig deeper, to not give up and to realize that your body may not actually be having a negative reaction. It may not necessarily be a bad thing, um, but you just have to work with a practitioner who can guide you and support you on your HRT journey. And don't forget the dose you start on probably isn't the dose that you'll stay on. You do sometimes need some time to figure out your dosing with these hormones. And so, again, that is why it's important to work with somebody who really understands HRT. So I hope that was helpful and we'll speak soon. Bye for now. I am not a medical professional and the information provided in this podcast is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I do not have access to your individual medical history or circumstances, so the content discussed here should not be considered as medical advice. Before making any changes to your diet, lifestyle or considering the use of supplements, please consult with a qualified healthcare professional or your doctor to ensure it's safe and appropriate for your specific situation. Any decisions you make based on the content of this podcast are at your own discretion and risk. Thank you for tuning in.